So I'm going to read you the comments on Logan Paul's own videos. There are 12,000 comments right now, 11,797 in case you guys are wondering. And I would imagine 90 to 95 to even 99% of them are very negative. Dude has not changed at all, just passes the blame to everyone else. The lack of self-awareness by Logan is truly a, an amazing sight to behold. When he attacks credibility instead of the argument, that's how you know he's guilty. Your addiction to clicks has clouded your judgment. Logan quite literally just described his entire career. He was so silent until he was called out. Crazy to how that happens. Every criminal denies allegations, but an honorable man apologizes, just saying. So you're telling me that throwing everyone under the bus absolves you and from your crimes all right logan the whole reason you have a manager is to manage you he represents you when he started blaming everyone i kind of knew how this response was going to turn out please let this court case be live streamed crazy how you hired a whole team of scammers and yet you are completely innocent after reading the comments, I'm glad most people aren't convinced. I thought a lot of his audience would take his response at face value. And again, remember, this: these are comments on his video. If you want to see comments on CoffeeZilla's video, slightly different. But the overall, it, it's bad. No honor among thieves really fits, really is the perfect proverb for this situation. Sure, you and Jeff didn't steal, but it doesn't change the, that you clearly were aiming to get rich quick off this. Ironically, you just got stuck holding the bag. I like how he made his case worse by revealing the criminal background of his own workers. Contacting your manager is like contacting you. That's basically the whole point of having one. Logan literally didn't talk about fans who lost thousands of dollars for even a second. I like how every time CoffeeZilla exposes someone, they always go, I normally like his videos exposing scammers, but when he exposed me for scamming, I hate his content now. The thing is, he would have never said anything if he was never caught. True. You should have just said, I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. It worked well last time. Please, 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 please take it to court. I'm sure everything will go great. He got his information from members of your team. He didn't make anything up. He found facts. He gained subs because of his integrity and hard work. Too bad you can't say the same. You never reached out to me. What do you think your manager is for? At this point, I would actually be shocked if Logan somehow maintains a loyal fan base. Next video, I've made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. Discrediting CoffeeZilla's journalistic integrity right before relying on it to place the blame on Eddie Ibanez. Ain't no way bro hired free criminals without noticing. I like how it he makes it seem... He is so accessible and easy to reach to and get a response from. Laugh out loud. This is like telling eBay you let someone else use your account and it's not your fault. I like the fact that he blames CoffeeZilla for not vetting the criminals he hired. Poor Logan looks so mad in this video. Accountability has left the chat. When the excuse accused starts to shame and ridicule the accuser, you know the accusations are true. I love the part where he takes accountability for his actions. Logan Paul, I mean, this is the comments. They continue on. Every time you refresh, there's another comment with 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 upvotes that is clearly not a good comment for you. Um, I'm sure this video will get over a million views. It reminds me a lot of another guy's video where he's apologizing for P not apologizing. He's explaining PPP loans to his audience. 
Yes, that video got a lot of views compared to his normal videos, but probably is not good. The dislike to like ratio is also not very good, as he knows. My concern with this is freedom of speech. I only really have one concern. I think right now, given the blue versus red, Democrat versus Republican, I mean, you couldn't have two Democrats more differently different than AOC and Nancy Pelosi, but they vote the same, right? They vote along com uh, company. <laughs> they vote a along the Democratic lines, the po party lines, if you will. I think this is bad for our country. COVID-19 was a incident that many the government used to suppress freedom of speech. Public gatherings, church gatherings, um, what you could say about COVID, mis, quote, misinformation, when it really was a discussion. Uh, I love the quote that you can be wrong, I can hate your opinion, but I will defend your right to have it. And then there's a very famous comic where no one speaks up. I didn't speak up when they took the communists away. I didn't speak up when they took this person away and that person away. And then by the time they took me away, no one spoke up for me because there was no one left. Speech, freedom of speech is so important right now in this time of American history because everyone wants to suppress it. Everyone minus probably Elon Musk. Uh, you, you hear about Twitter, how Twitter was suppressing speech. You hear about Facebook and Instagram, how they only show you things that you want to see. And then you already have a preconceived notion of how things should be. And they only show you the uh, posts that, that hide in those preconceived notions. We lived in an aft up America right now. People are divided. They're pitted against each other. And I think it's disgusting that we cannot have a decent conversation without being afraid to talk. And I'm... Going to go back to Magic the Gathering. Um, I know this is probably a weird thing. Back when I played, you could say all types of crazy stuff. Because it's just hanging out with people that you consider your friends. No one is filming you. No one tried to cancel culture you. No one's going to repost what you said to the Houston Magic Facebook page so they can crucify you. You're just talking and hanging out with friends. You're, you're making funny jokes. And maybe they're not funny. Maybe they're offensive jokes. But no one's going to cancel you. In today's society of snowflakes, and it really is snowflakes, everyone is threatening to sue everyone else for libel, slander, copyright. You know where I'm going with this. You know who I'm talking about. It's not just Logan Paul or Jeff Wilson. It's your neighbors. It's everybody in life nowadays. They believe that the magic solution to all their problems is, hey, what? If, why... If, don't I just threaten to sue you for libel, slander, malfeasance instead of having an honest discussion. Okay, you said these things about me. I didn't appreciate this. I said these things about you. You didn't appreciate that. Is there a middle ground? We are so afraid to com have conversations that are difficult. And th that is why I'm so worried about free my First Amendment Constitution law professor was the most famous scholar on the First Amendment. And when you can't talk, when you can't have conversations, that's when freedom of speech dies. When you don't have the ability to communicate with someone who has different opinions than you, maybe they're from a different culture, maybe they have a diff they grew up differently in a different environment than you. The reason that we should communicate and we should talk and we should discuss without the threat of lawsuit, which is very expensive, very, very time consuming for everyone involved and a huge tax on the judge, the judicial system, in my opinion, we can't even talk and have a simple discussion of why you feel this way because everyone is so afraid of offending everyone else. Now, let me, let me just go back and let me really focus on something that I have to say. I have to get this off my chest. Don't be a snowflake. There is a channel on YouTube that for a long time 
did nothing but make fun of the way I talked, the way I and uh, the way I look, the weight gain I have had recently um, on my LUS. It's called Gutterless Channel. It wouldn't be difficult for you to figure it out. Uh, he uses video clips of me out of context. Uh, he uses me as a background image to make fun of, and, and I'm okay with that. But the reason I'm okay with that, and even though I am personally not really upset anymore, but it is a little amusing, but also kind of like, ugh, you know. His most popular video is a short of me, my head, that he clipped out and put it on like a fat Chinese baby. It has like 10,000 views. If I say we must protect the freedom of speech, I can't threaten to sue that guy, and I have not, even though I'm a lawyer. And I wouldn't threaten to sue. And in fact, I've made a video saying I would not. And even encourage him to continue his uh, video making of me personally. That is the difference between me and a Logan Paul or a Jeff Wilson. If you are online, you have to assume you will take some level of abuse. And there will be some level of speech that you may not agree with. Because if you do not accept these principles and you want to frighten to sue people, you come to the wrong place. Because I think questions about PPP loans, questions about crypto zoo, I have questions about meta zoo. I have questions about flesh and blood and their transparency with alpha investment. I'm not sure what that relationship is and I'm pretty sure none of you guys know either. Alpha Investment says that the relationship is he pays for his promos. Does that sound right to anyone? Like if you had Logan Paul say, what does an influencer relationship look like? He would say, oh, they give me free stuff and they give me money. Which is, in my opinion, what most influencer relationships are. Right? You promote the MetaZoo product. And so I am okay with other people criticizing me. I have to be. I'm online. Anyway, bye guys.